In this video, we're diving into the world of AI-generated video motion control with Runway ML's latest update to their Motion Brush feature. I'll be your guide through the application of up to five separate motion brushes to any image, drastically enhancing the liveliness and realism of AI-generated scenes. We will cover everything about multi-motion brush, including the new user interface, experimenting with the five unique brushes and their direction sliders, and applying nuanced motion to single character and multiple character scenes. As always, I'll be demonstrating these features using images generated by Midjourney, highlighting the synergy between these two powerful tools. Motion Brush by Runway ML has taken a leap forward, offering filmmakers unprecedented control over motion in AI-generated videos. I've covered the Motion Brush in the past. It allows you to paint on an image and direct the motion on the mid-journey generated images. Runway ML have introduced Multi-Motion Brush, allowing for five separate individual motion brushes to be applied to any reference image with all directional motion controls. By this, you can assign directions to different elements. I'm hopping straight into Runway Gen 2 and I'm going to use this image that I've generated using Midjourney. Let's start by uploading this image with a single character scene. I'm going to press Motion Brush and we're presented with a new user interface where now we have our five brushes available alongside direction sliders for horizontal, vertical, proximity and ambient motion. I'm going to click on our image with brush 1 selected and just quickly paint face of our protagonist Medusa and set some slight horizontal motion to the right and slight upward motion. Then I will choose motion brush 2. I'm just going to go through and brush Medusa's hair. I have to be sure that I'm brushing the whole hair carefully and I'm going to add some horizontal movement to the left. Once this is done, I'm going to choose brush 3, increase the brush size and just paint all these snakes around Medusa. If you do paint over the other color, it will replace it with your new one so you can't multi-layer motion on the same area and I'm going to add some ambient motion here in the value of 8.5. Then I'm going to press save. Lastly, I'm going to click on the camera motion and just add a little bit of a zoom out and press save and press generate three times to ensure that at least one of the generations will be usable and here is the result. It is not perfect as I was expecting more movement around snakes, but certainly this feature is promising and giving us a lot of control. I'm now going to jump in and try out a multi-character scene. Selection of different characters and try out the motion brush with multiple brushes applied and just see what we get. I'm starting with brush one and focusing on the face of my female character. In runway, less is more so, I will add a slight horizontal motion to her face. After this character, I want to add some motion to this bicycle on the background. Using brush 2, I'm selecting the bicycle and I'm assigning a strong motion towards left direction with the value of 7.5. Once this is done, I want to do something with my male character. Using brush 3, I'm brushing his head and giving a horizontal motion with value 1. I only want a slight movement for this character. After saving my motion settings on my motion canvas, I'm back on my starting screen with different prompting options. Due to the complexity of scene, I'm selecting image plus text prompting to give more context to runway and hitting generate. I tried five generations and I was actually lucky with the first one. Plus, I'll make some sound design and add a music to this scene. Here we go. As a last exercise, I will use all five of my motion brushes in this mid-journey image together with text prompt and camera motion. Here we have more than two characters and also element of fire in the building. I'm starting with uploading my mid-journey image to runway. Once my image is successfully uploaded, I'm choosing motion brush and brush one. As the first thing, I will be focusing on the most prominent element in the scene which is fire in the building. 
I will carefully brush these flames because I want them to move upwards. That's why I'm choosing vertical Y axis and up direction. After flames are done, I want to focus on the very prominent character here with brush 2. I want her to walk towards left, but not expecting a bold movement. Then I'm selecting brush 3 and being sure that all three of these characters here are selected by brush. This is taking a little bit of time. I want them to move towards the burning building, of course in a safe distance. In this case, they're getting further away from camera. That's why I'm using proximity setting here and choosing a minus value. Remember left side puts distance between your camera and your subject and right side brings them closer to you. After that, I'm selecting this crowd here with brush 4 and making them go closer to the building with same proximity setting I used, as well as adding ambient noise. I certainly don't want this group to stay static, that's why I brought ambient noise setting to 7. As my last choice of brush, I am selecting smoke coming out from fire. I want smoke to move towards upper right corner. That's why I'm choosing both horizontal and vertical motion settings. After saving my motion canvas, I'm adding the camera motion of horizontal left and slight zoom out to my scene. And lastly, I'm switching to image plus text prompting mode and finishing with the text prompt describing my scene, which is building is on fire. People are on the street moving close to the building in a safe distance. And once I hit generate, here is the result. I'm quite happy with outcome, especially flames and smoke, as well as movement of my subjects. Of course, AI video isn't perfect. You can easily realize visible AI defect of the crowd in further distance and a strange ghost appearing on the left side. But still, I think this feature has a huge potential. If you're interested in trying it out, the updated motion brush is available now on Runway Gen 2. Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you to explore the new multi-motion brush tool in Runway ML. If so, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome tutorials. If you want to learn more about Mid Journey, AI filmmaking and everything AI related, click here.